Hey y'all, Countryman here. I, uh, don't have a video to put up today. I'm not cooking. I'm not canning. I'm not opening gifts from people who have blessed me. But, uh, I'm poor. I'm broke. And don't have many material blessings, but I am rich with friends. You know, that's that's a good thing. But let's go back to the money deal here. And uh, they say don't take financial advice from broke people. Good, because I'm not going to give you any. Instead of telling you what to do, I would like to go to the negative and tell you what not to do. Well, uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you something to do. Uh, the book, DaveRamsey.com, go get the book to Total Money Makeover. Uh, is it worth doing? Yes, it is. Has it helped me? Yes, it has. Uh, is it biblically biblically uh, correct? Yes, it is. Does it work? Uh, I'm not any richer because of it. But the peace of mind that the book give me and the way it teaches me how to do things has helped me tremendously. Uh, things that don't apply to me. I'm going to ramble, so just bear with me. Turn it off if you don't like it. Uh, the average millionaire, you don't know him from one person from the next. He doesn't drive big old fancy cars and brand new ones. They said the average millionaire drives a two-year-old car with uh, halfway decent mileage on it that is in good working order. Uh, when you go and buy a brand new car off the dealership lot and sign the paper and drive it off the lot, it depreciates somewhere like 25% that day. So why blow 25% of your money just to have a brand new spanking car? Uh, millionaires don't do that. Uh, not even going to say who, but, but everybody knows that I got cappuccino in the mail. This here cappuccino, I've used it twice, and since I'm a truck driver, I use little things to put my coffee in, you know, like a quart jar. cappuccino second one of the day now you can go to Starbucks or one of your coffee shops or whatever and uh, get a 24 ounce cappuccino pay five bucks for it if I had to get by the ingredients to get this uh, I'm gonna say it would cost me Oh, 15 bucks for all the ingredients, but I can make uh, 10 of these, so it's going to cost me about a dollar fifty a bag. I'm estimating. I'll have to ask my prepper angel for that, but I guarantee you it don't cost very much to make these. So, what I'm getting at, instead of going out to the store and buying it and doing it yourself, and all I done was take Mr. Coffee in there and, uh, take the filter out and run hot water through him and and then add my mix to it I have 32 ounces of delicious cappuccino for maybe a quarter 50 cents at the most for 32 ounces therefore I have saved about anywhere from 350 to $455 just today. Now, uh, granted that I don't go to those places and uh, 
and do it but you know that's how you save that's how you save money uh, the first time in a long long time come the first of the month which I get I'm on Social Security so I get paid once a month I am not going to the grocery store I have enough food saved back prepped back and everything that the first of the month they put all the junk food on sale and uh, everything is three prices on the meat and they know everybody gets pay paid so it's ca it's a cash cow for especially for the local grocery store that uh, I deal with they are not my favorite grocery store but I deal with them because they are three blocks from the house and they have good sales so when stuff goes on sale there I go down, I am very frugal, and I buy what's on sale. Those hams that I got for 99 cents a pound, still in the freezer, uh, I'm going to use them sparingly. I uh, ate a bunch of it, and my feet swelled up. Welcome to getting old, and I don't know if it was gout or whatever, but uh, quit eating the ham and all the it was too much salt, too much of a good thing. Turkeys, I wound up with uh, four of them. I still got a 22 pounder in the freezer at 65 cents a pound. And uh, those were name brand turkeys, the last ones I bought. And I just happened to be there on the right day that they marked them all down. And if I had had a deep freeze, I would have bought more. They had a, instead of limit one, they had a limit of three. So here it is, the 18th of the month, sitting pretty on food. Uh, I remember three and a half months ago, instead of having all this food in the house, it was the 18th of the month and I had two chickens left to last me the whole month. Well, I, I made it, you know. I wasn't very much meat in the house, but I had pasta and veggies and stuff like that and make it stretch. But now, because of me catching the sales and doing what I did, uh, I'm sitting pretty. I've got my hamburger meat, I've got pork, I've got chicken, I've got turkey, all canned up. And come the first of the month when they try to push all the uh, stuff on you, I don't have to go. I can wait until the good sales come about the second or third week of the month. And uh, I will get them. Eggs in the past two months have went from 99 cents a dozen to $1.50 a dozen. All because... Everybody's doing a lot of baking around the holidays. They'll, they, uh, cake mixes are 99 cents a box. That's fine, but you got to go buy a dozen eggs because you need two of them to put in the cake mix. So that's where they get you. Uh, you know, you get, you, you think you're getting a deal on the cake mix, but you know, when you're paying a dollar fifty a dozen for eggs, to make a dollar cake, I mean, that ain't cool. So you got you got to wait and watch what's on sale. Uh, I forget the two coupon girls that uh, tell you to use your coupons and buy what you need and and store what you need and eat what you buy. Uh, that's a prepper motto, you know. I don't go out and buy stuff on coupons because of it being on sale. I buy it because it is cheap, it's on sale, and somewhere down the road I'm going to eat it. Uh, I've got to the point in my uh, what do you call it? Life? Prepping is a lifestyle. It's not a something you do and forget it uh, but I've got to the point now that 
you know, hey, I've got food in the house. Let's wait for the next sale to come along, and then we'll prep some more. Well, uh, sometimes life kicks you back a couple of steps. The assistant manager down at the store promised me those jars for six bucks a case. Well, the lady decided that she called the district manager and said, well, we can't give them to you for that price, but we'll give them to you for $10 a case. Well, twelve ninety nine was the original price, 13 bucks a case for quart wide mouth jars. So I'm getting, getting them for 10 and I know a lot of people say that's a good deal, but yeah, it is. And everybody's out buying Christmas presents. It's December. You're supposed to buy, you know, you know, well, shoot, I can buy at least one Christmas present for myself. Uh, what am I going to get this year? How about 15 dozen candy jars? I know that I said I was getting them for six. I'm praying that the lady I talked to her in person said I told her I'd be there on January 4th to pick them up. So we shall see if I get my jars for $10 a dozen. If it does, I am going to can what comes on sale, when it comes on sale. Uh, all I'm thinking about now is March. That's three months away. Countryman, why are you thinking about March? Well, one of the things that I love is uh, uh, corned beef. And I've heard mixed resorts on reports on canning corned beef. Some say it turns out good. Some people say it turns out salty. I don't know when I make it in the crock pot and wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning because the house smells so good. Uh, it is all I can do to lay in bed and wait till morning to get up and make me a sandwich. But uh, if I can get that on a sale at a, diff a decent price and can me up some, and have that once a week, corned beef and cabbage, or corned beef with uh, uh, rye bread and spicy hot mustard on top, which, you know, I always keep around. I mean, you got to have your mustard. Uh, those things like that are thinking ahead. And I am to the point now that I can think ahead, plan ahead, and, you know, prepping is uh, something that I've uh, learned from my mom. I've learned tons of stuff off of YouTube, and uh, I have made some of the best friends that you'd ever meet that uh, I can turn around and uh, pick their brains. So what I'm getting at with this video is uh, I'm on a limited budget. I'm not even, you know, everybody that knows me knows that it ain't much that I live off of. And uh, if you want to call and talk to me, I'll tell you what my budget is. But uh, over half my rent... Oh, over half my income goes to rent. And my rent is $400 a month. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, so, it, 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 it's not a tight around here. My budget for January is already made up. I have sat here and made up my budget for January including the jars after everything's paid got money left over and it's to the point now that I have two lists one is needs which they always come first food shelter food utilities and stuff like that bills and then you worry about other stuff if you had a little bit more money left over, what would you buy? 
and it's the Dave Ramsey plan. It's the uh, uh, snowball. Uh, you can buy his book off of eBay used for eight bucks. It'll be the best eight bucks you ever seen. No, this is not an endorsement for Dave Ramsey. I don't get no money off of him. But I tell you what, I sure heck learned a lot from him. I want to give a, a Christmas present to everybody and just, you know, start living more frugally. I mean, uh, I'm even able to save a little money now going to put it in the fruit jar, got plenty of them around here, going to get more. So, living, what am I saying? I'm trying to say that I have came a long way, and I at the point now that I can even go farther. Uh, the coupon manufacturers of the coupons and everything, they uh, have got to the point that you know, you gotta buy two to save fifty cents and stuff. You know, some of these uh, coupon couponers have uh, really messed it up for everybody because the uh, people that put out the coupons are getting wise. But uh, that's okay. Use your coupons when you can. I've got a printer here uh, running low on ink, but that's okay because it still works. And I, I printed off enough coupons to go buy me new ink cartridges. I've even got coupons for ink, ink cartridges. So, uh, that's no big deal. Go buy some more. And it pays, what's it cost me? Three cents a sheet to maybe print off a coupon that I'm saving a dollar off of uh, something I buy. I don't buy a lot of taxable goods. You can't, you don't have uh, coupons on produce and canned goods, or well, you do on canned goods, but produce and stuff like that you don't. Most of your coupons are on taxable stuff like uh, your shampoos and uh, body washes and stuff like that, which is okay. I don't use a lot of that stuff, but when it does, I save money on it. Uh, uh, Real Man Coupon. He's out in Colorado. Good man to check out if you want to check out his videos on couponing. And uh, what I'm getting at is the people who are a whole lot better off financially than me and have money in the bank do these frugal things such as your homemade cappuccinos instead of going to the store and buying I know a can of cappuccino was costing me five six bucks for a 20 ounce can you know it's about the size of a uh, uh, chocolate drink box maybe the little ones some little ones are uh, the expensive ones they're going five six dollars and you may get Ten, 10 drinks out of it let's call it let's call it 20 drinks at five dollars that's 40 cents a pop I guarantee you that this big old thing of cappuccino didn't cost me 40 cents actually it didn't cost me nothing but because it was a gift but uh, if I had to make it up myself which I got the recipe coming uh, it ain't gonna cost 40 cents it's gonna cost more like 15 cents but these are the uh, things that we can do as preppers to uh, better ourselves I am rambling I am sorry I needed to get this off my chest I want to wish everybody a happy uh, Christmas happy birthday Jesus Merry Christmas uh, if you're looking for politically correct stuff uh, Unsub, go somewhere else because it's not here. God bless, and uh, I hope this helps. Give me some input on what you think uh, being frugal means to you and, and living on a budget. And you'd be surprised how much money uh, 
you can save by just uh, planning ahead a little bit. And that's what, I'm to the point that I can do that, and that's more or less what I'm proud of. God bless, countryman out.